Hi, in this video I'm going to modify a stock water snake venom 12 volt 34 pound thrust trolling motor with a shortened shaft and also install an electronic speed controller with a wireless remote in the head of the trolling motor. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. This is an overall view of the Water Snake Venom trolling motor for this project. The shaft length is 30 inches, and I'm going to shorten it down to 26 inches for use on a kayak. And in order to do that, I need to remove the head unit, so I will do that and show you the electronics inside that head unit. This is a view of the underside of the head unit and you need to remove three screws and one collar screw in order to remove it. You have one, two, three, and then the collar screw here. Now I just want to go into a little bit more of detail when you're disconnecting these wires. These positive and negative wires go to the battery meter which is in the upper cap of the head unit and so they're connected to the positive and negative of the battery power that's coming through here so when I clip these I'm going to keep them connected just so I remember how they're hooked up when I put everything back together and then you can just take these two screws off you can pull out the handle and then once you've clipped the wiring the switch will come right out Okay, so I've removed the handle and the switch, and what you have left is your two battery power wires and four wires coming out of the shaft. You are negative, positive, and then you have a blue and a yellow, which you're not going to use. Now, these are pretty standard for a five forward, three reverse speed selector switch in trolling motors. So all you're gonna need to use for this project is a positive and negative that are going into the shaft and then these you can just cap off and tuck back in or leave them in the head like I'm going to do with this project. This is something I also want to mention. The shaft link is listed at 30 inches but if you measure it down from the collar on the prop unit all the way up to the top here it's 31 inches. So when you do your measurements this is an extra inch that's hidden inside the head unit of the trolling motor. So that means I'm going to make my measurements so I have 27 inch length from the prop unit all the way up to here. And here's a piece of tape that I marked it with. And I'll be making my cut using a pipe cutter. And there's plenty of videos on how to do that. So I'll just show you how everything's ready for the rest of the project. This is a little tip to make sure that you drill a center hole through the back end of the base of the head unit. This is the little bushing that comes with it. So just slide it right in there and then you can put your drill bit right through the center of that. This is the ESC I'm going to be using in this project. Now looking at it you can probably tell that it has some of the leads cut and modified and that's because I use it in another project and I want to use it again. And I will include the original build on how to attach an ESC in the narrative section. So just looking at this here, the two yellow leads are the positive that go to the motor and I'm going to connect them together to increase the wire diameter size so I can have a larger current flow. I'll do the same for the blue, which is the negative to the motor. The red is the positive from the battery to the input of the ESC. And the black is the negative. Here, I've already installed the fan, and that plugs into this little port here. If you can see it, and that's where you do all your programming. Then there's also an on-off switch, a very small one, that I've already cut off and extended leads on so I could put an aftermarket on off switch there and then this is your connection to your wireless receiver which I have here and it's going to go into channel 2 and then this is the wireless controller 
that you're going to use with it. Now, most of them come already paired up, but if it doesn't, there's a little pairing button here that you press. And you press that first, and then you press the on for your remote, and watch, and then it'll give you a signal that it's paired. Okay, this is a view of the interior of the head, and I've connected all the wiring, tested it, and everything works. So I'm going to give you a quick rundown. Here's the ESC. Here's the two positive motor connections from the ESC hooked together. They're connected to the positive wire that goes down through the shaft for the trolling motor. Here's the two blue ones, which are the negatives, and they are connected to the negative going down the shaft to the trolling motor. Here is the positive, which being fed by the battery positive. And again, I made sure I added that little positive wire here, which goes to feed this meter here. Then here's the negative powering the ESC, again going to the negative of the battery and the negative of the meter there. And I also added in an on-off switch here that you can see. And there it is on the underside there. Hope I don't drop this. And then this is the receiver connection. And once I put everything back together, you'll see how it works. And I'm going to mount the ESC here in the back end of the lower portion of this head unit because I put a piece of foam back there and I used some marine goop to hold it in place. So I have a nice solid area to mount this with some VHB tape. This is the final view of the interior of the head unit. I've got all the wiring secured. The ESC is down tight with the VHB tape. Everything's running nice and tight and out of the way. And up here is where I have the receiver unit mounted, and that's with VHB tape as well. So all I have to do now is just close it up. All right, everything's put back together, and the trolling motor is hooked up to power. All I need to do is turn the switch on to power the ESC and the trolling motor, and then I'll be able to run it using my wireless speed controller right here. So I'm going to turn this on first, and go ahead and turn on the ESC for the trolling motor. Okay, we're ready to go. So everything works as it should. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.